Virgil, as this season reaches its climax, how much are you relishing the challenge that lies ahead? A lot, of course. Um, it's been an incredible season so far for us um, in so many different ways. Uh, a lot of, obviously, a lot have happened so far. Um, obviously, red cards, injuries, young players coming through, manager leaving, announcement to end of the summer, end of the season. Sorry, it's been a a roller coaster a little bit, but we on the. It's been a good roller coaster. Let's let's keep it that way. So, uh, yeah, let's see what the last the last couple of um, couple of months will bring. Where we're gonna give it our everything and see, hopefully, uh, to get some silverware. You've been through this all before. What's it like dealing with the pressures that each game brings and, and how much does experience help in this regard? Well, experience helps a lot. Um, but in the end of the day, you know, it's also staying calm is a, is a, is a very, very big thing. Um, staying clear-headed and making sure you are playing your best football. And it sounds maybe a little bit easy, and obviously, um, um, when the stakes are high, it's, it's it's a very very tough thing to do. But um, you know, you have to also to make sure that you 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 create the the basis in, in in order to perform. So obviously, you have to make sure you're physically in the best shape possible, and and definitely mentally as well. And I think um, the players the players here definitely know that. Is it a, a different dynamic this season? Virgil, with three teams involved in the title race. And also on that subject, how high do you think the standard is in the top three this season? Standard has been very high. Obviously, I think you can only be, you know, playing for the title if you're consistent. And um, all three of us have been very consistent throughout the season. We have been, um, you know, winning games, even, you know, when the odds were the other way, maybe a little bit, where you have to come from behind or score in the last minutes. I think everyone, each one of us have been have been doing that and um, consistency is key, um, not only as, as, a, as, a, as a person, in a personal level, so as a player, but also as a, as a team, because everyone has to play their part in that case. How much do you follow what's going on with Arsenal, with Man City? To be fair, I don't really watch it that much. Um, obviously, a very good friend of mine in Nathan Ake plays for City. <laughs> Um, so obviously we see each other, you know, now and then. And but in the end of the day, and and that's what I've learned over the years. You know, you have to just focus on yourself. You have to, you know, you, that's the only thing you have influence on. And obviously you get the results because you know we not. I don't live under a rock. If you, if you, that's just something that you will get. But in the end of the day, it's about making sure that you are your best version at the game in order to win the game. And that takes time as well. So um, that's the main focus. As a captain, though, a captain being involved in the title race this time around, does it feel a, a little different to you personally? Well, not really. Um, obviously, that responsibility that I, maybe that little bit of extra responsibility that I've, you know, I've got now being the captain because I felt that responsibility already before I was made captain um, is to make sure that we are our best version and doesn't matter if you're 16 years old or 18 or 30 or 34 I don't know everyone has to as a part to play in and I definitely try to encourage um, the players in order to be ready um, and to deal with difficult moments to deal with good moments as well because there's also that we don't speak about as much but when there is a lot of praises how you deal with that um, so, yeah, I feel like I have definitely a big part to play in this case. Um, but I really enjoy it as well. I embrace it um, because these things, you know, should not be taken for granted either. What makes a good captain, do you think? What leadership qualities do you need? <laughs> well, I think first and foremost, I think you need to lead by example because everyone, you know, must feel that they can build on you. And you know, I think that's that's the that's the that's the basis in, in in this in this in this thing. I think, and other than that, obviously, everyone is a different cap. Everyone, obviously, who is a captain is a different personality and and have their different view on what's important for his team or 
or the culture at the club. And I've been very grateful that I've, you know, I've worked with Jordan Henderson, who has been an ama amazing captain for the club in so many years. And I've learned, obviously, a lot from him. Um, and I've learned from previous captains that I've worked with as well. And, um, but I also know that I have to do my own thing. And that's what I've been implementing this season as well. And I'm very I'm very key and in and, and favor of making sure that we have the right environment for um, all the players to, you know, play at their strengths and feel free to do what they do best and not feel limited. And I feel like the atmosphere at the club has been very good, um, calm, but obviously very, you know, everyone is on it as well. And I think that's definitely something I really uh, want for my team. What does it actually feel like, Virgil, to be a Premier League winner, to get over the line? And once you've done that, does it make you even more determined to go again and again? For sure. I think, uh, obviously, we experienced it, experienced it once without the fans. And, you know, that on top of you want to achieve it again makes me want to achieve it even more because I want the fans to be that with us. And I want the... I want the city to explode when we get the trophy in our hands. Um, and that's what we fight for. That's what we fight for since day one after preseason started. And that's what we put all the hard work in day in, day out. Um, that's what our sacrifices um, will hopefully uh, be um, rewarded. And, you know, the, the, that's that's what other two, other, other two teams are also doing it. And... That's that's also a bit of the beauty of the football, but you know we have to try and fight as hard as we can and play and win games and hopefully be on the on the, on the good side in the end. You mentioned this briefly, but just going back to Jurgen Klopp, I mean, what does Jurgen mean to you personally? And to do it for him this season with everything that's on the line for him, one last shot for him, what does that mean to you? Well, it means a lot. Uh, obviously, the manager means a lot to me. Any anyway, I think. Obviously, him making sure that I joined Liverpool Football Club is it's been something that I would never take for granted and I'm always be grateful for and um what we achieved um at the club and he also made my dreams come true, you know, is 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 something, you know, it's it's special and I will always cherish that and um we're definitely gonna miss him, but we still have a job to do and um it's not it's not that we're going to try and do this only for him. We do this for ourselves as well. We do this for the fans. We do this for everyone, every Liverpool fan around the world. But definitely in the end of the season, it will be emotional. And let's make it good emotional that we have some something to celebrate as well. And um, But we'll see. We'll see. But um, that he will be missed is, is for sure. Given some of the changes this season, the young players that have been introduced into the team, the new players that have arrived at Liverpool, it feels this is an evolving team. Are you pleasantly surprised, Virgil, you're, you are in the title mix or did you expect to be here regardless? Well, after the season, inconsistent season we had last year, um, I think everyone felt a bit that we have to make things right because we still have the quality, we have the players, we have um, players who can make the difference and I think that feeling I felt immediately from, from the first day in pre-season including myself, of course. and um, But yeah, it, it, it's not easy to come to a club like Liverpool and immediately settle in that quickly. And the players that have come in, um, you know, did very well. And the young players that have come in and stepped up have, have done outstandingly as well. And I think it's also credit to be in the environment that they can express themselves and play their best football. Um, that's that's possible. And... Um, yeah, it's 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 really a, it's really a joy to watch. Um, so we just have to keep going. Final one, and I know it's a tricky one to answer, but what do you think, if anything, will be the the deciding factor in the title race this season, and how small is that margin for error? Well, the, the it's very small. That's pretty obvious. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't I don't like to think about what's happening in ten games or nine games or. Whatever, it's just like for us, you know, we focus on one game at a time. And that's been our mindset 
already for so many years um, that brought us success. Um, and that's the only thing we have control over. And it's going to be to the wire, I think, and it will be tough. But for the other teams, it will be tough as well. And it's about, let's see, let's enjoy it. And it will be difficult at times to enjoy it because if you make a mistake or what else, you'll be angry and you'll be disappointed. But it's still about keep going until the, the very last moment and day and um, let's see what it brings us.